Okay, y'all, so the next style in the Don't Touch My Hair series is my favorite sexy updo. If you guys like this style, please continue to watch. So first, start off and separate the first half of your hair into three different sections. The side sections need to be smaller than the top because the top will be your leave out. So I'm gonna start on the back and I'm gonna go through and detangle my hair. I've already added some water. And then I'm gonna go in and add a little of my Eco Styler just so it gives it hold. And you know, you can go really heavy handed on this if you like. I know I like to use a lot. Um, and then I just like to rub that in and then I go in with my wave brush to smooth it out. And then I tie it up. I like to take it all the way to the top of my hair because it needs to be able to be covered by my leave out that's gonna be at the top. And then I tie it. I've been using my rubber bands. I do recommend getting some very thin hair ties, but I only found my rubber bands. And then for each section, after I'm done, I spray the puff bottle with water. And I like to activate any product that's in there so that my hair doesn't dry out. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the side of my hair. Add some water, add some of that Carol's Daughter hair milk. It's a leave-in conditioner. I'm starting to really like it. I didn't like it at first, but it's starting to really grow on me. And then I go in and detangle with my big wide brush. And as you see, I am brushing back and up because I want it to create an illusion that there is no hair on the side of my hair because it's going to be covered by the top of the leave out so I like to um, just go at an angle all the way to the back and at the top tie it up and then like I said don't forget to spray it so that you can activate any product that's left in it so that you don't have any um, dry ends and then I just repeat the same thing on the other side of my hair on that little section and now for the top of the hair which is your leave out so you want to be very generous in what products you put up there and how you moisturize it so I just uh, go through now and check for any dry spots there is a lot of product in my hair from the previous style that I did so then I go through and each puff ball I like to add a bobby pin. I like to put a bobby pin so that it's not hanging too low. And I'm thinking maybe in the future when I do it again that I won't add a bobby pin to the back so it looks a little longer. But then I go in with the pillow soft curls for the top of my leave out and I add all of that and work it in. And any of my baby hair that's not staying down, I just go back and add a little bit of eco style like I have to do right here. Um, I mean, you can do some baby hair action if you want. I think I was just in a rush doing the style, so I didn't really get to do the baby hair action. But that is the finished product, you guys. I really do love this updo. Um, let me know if you guys are trying it and if you're on Instagram tag me so I can see you guys uh, Recreate this hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next video